It's time to light the fires and kick the tires. It's time for Fun Day Friday, brought to you by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. It is the climax of Seafood Week all week long here at Rectech. We've been bringing you our best seafood recipes. Well, let me sling it on over to my two main men, your master chef, Greg Muller, and our Rectech expert, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. Good. Woo. Good. Yeah. yeah. Gotta nice kick, and kick tires. Nice and salty from this week. Been eating all that seafood fish. Dude, we've had so much fish this week. Woo. I tell you what, the, the my favorite thing from this week. The trash can has stuck this week. <laughs> Chef John making that fish ball ice cream. Oh man. Last night on late night munchies. Oh man. Yeah, you guys missed that. I cannot believe he froze sardines, macerated them. Turned them into ice cream and then made sardine ice cream. But then he actually ate it and enjoyed it. So I'm not really sure oh, it if delicious. it was really good or if he just has that poker face. That's not the first time John's ever faked anything. Hey! A fun game you got to play with the boys. It's called Bean Boozled. Have you seen? Have you heard about this? Yes, they the disgusting it's, beans. It's terrible. Ooh. I heard. It's terrible. Um, uh, Isabel got it. Uh, curdled milk or sour milk. It's is sour the worst milk. One. It's dirty Ooh. feet. Ooh. It's barf. It's boogers. Good ah, gosh. Boogers, Toothpaste dude. or wild berry. <laughs> <laughs> um, is. But it's, it's bad. Like, when you get a bad one, oh my dude, goodness. it's awful. <sighs> no, shout awful. out to my son, uh, John Dillon, who loves to pick his boogers. John Dillon, get your finger out of your <laughs> nose, son. <laughs> Isabel still sucks her thumb, so she gets the whole thumb and the pick at the same time. Dang. I, just, I can't. You guys Eight are years old, I figured she'd get up. Dang. I figured she'd get it up by now, Greg's but not a, so much. Greg's kid is a genius. <sighs> Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. This is another amazing episode of Fun Day Friday. What is Fun Day Friday, you may ask? Fun Day Friday Best is the day climax of, of our week. Yeah, it is. The culmination mm -hmm. uh, of our culinary weeks, seafood week. This is the climax yep. of it. We're doing king crab, snow crab, yeah. and then Chef Greg's amazing makeshift pasta. I'm so happy it's Friday. I can't AKA tell you leftover guys. stuff in the fridge. Leftover stuff in the fridge. We're going to turn it into an Italian pasta. Oh, Arriba. Arriba. All we need yeah, is a little uh, salumi, pepperoni, and some cheese. We're good to go. Ooh. Of which none are here. But nope. You nope, can add no. that to yourself. There you go. Um, but it's, it is going to be a great show. Thank you yeah. so much. Make sure you smash that share button. Everybody hates it. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Uh, we really would appreciate that. But we got a lot of great crab facts going on. We will be spinning that wheel of rec tech this week yeah. it is revamped yeah. it has been calibrated it's been updated mm -hmm. uh it is uh uh, uh now um going straight down the road that's instead right. of curving a little to the left. Yeah, it got an alignment. Yep. 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 It got the computer updated new struts, on it. That's right. New, new shocks. Mm -hmm. It needed new a pads. TCM reprogram. New yep. girders. Reprogram. That's right. Uh transmission mounts. Yep, I'm telling you. It's getting warm over there. I like it. Um, but we will be spinning the wheel of Rectech, giving something away, so make sure you stay tuned. But guys, if you have any criticism, hatred, comments, put please it put it down below. We love reading that stuff. It makes our days. Um, Look at Jordan fixing his hair over there. In the uh, he's just a sexy, sexy guy. Um, we will not be going live on the air uh, for Twitter this week. Unfortunately, Jordan didn't charge his phone, so we can't go live on Twitter this week once again. Um, but Jordan, but you haven't introduced yourself in yet. Hi everybody, my name is Jody Flanagan and I am the Rec Tech Expert Barbecue Dad. With me as always, Chef Greg Muller, your Director of Culinary Innovation and then the uh, conductor of this crazy train. You got Chef John Pinnell over there. That's right, on the ones and the twos. Guys, put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section. Show I will be cold. reading those out to the fellas. All right, Greg, what do you want to start with? Uh, Cheese and crackers. Let's uh, let's make a little uh, a little dressing. A little dressing for the pulse. Yeah, yeah. yeah, why not? You know. All right. So this is a makeshift uh, pasta dish because it's just stuff we had in the fridge. Exactly. We had a bunch of the what is that? Rotolini, rot rigatoni, rigatoni. I knew, uh, hey, dated a, 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 a lady, young lady in middle school. Her Easy dad's for you to say. name was rigatoni. Rigatoni, Mr. Was, rigatoni. Yeah, All right. So we got name. some red so wine vinegar. Like, <laughs> we got a little uh, banana peppers. I like putting a little bit of that brine in there. Okay, a little spice, some olive oil. Yeah. 
Okay, like four parts. Is that to extra one. version? Um, it is in fact. Okay. okay. Oh, look at that. I like. First okay. press. Okay. Oh. So like four four parts uh, oil, one part vinegar, like one part banana pepper juice. So this weekend, I I had uh, last weekend, excuse me, I had nothing planned. So it was just wide open for me and the kids. Yeah. Uh, we had a great weekend. Oh mm -hmm. wow, Chef Greg showing off. Um, John. Yes. What did you do last weekend? Last that weekend. That was amazing that you told me all about. What did, I don't remember what I told you all about that I did last week. Dude, how do you not yeah. remember that? Aren't you supposed to be on location soon or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, we had a great time. A great time last week. <laughs> you know, doing it up. That's awesome. Having Good. Fun. Wait, 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 uh, wait to give us something about that. Um, again, Chef Eric, <laughs> what are we doing right now? We're making a pasta salad, huh? Jeez, ah, John. <laughs> yeah, so we got some We got some vinegar, some oil. Do we need to start over? <laughs> It's a live show. There's no, there's no take two. No take two. We got some juice. Juice. Now, juice. Yes. We got some juice. <laughs> Not. I, HVR no. seasoning. Got to put the HVR God, in that there. Ranch. HVR. Got to hey, have it. That's the same thing that's in the ranch packets, ladies and gentlemen. They just put it in a jug. That's right. Just and FYI. for more herbage, we're going to use that Colton's freaking Greek. Love mm. that. We're going to go ahead and engage Greek. riot mode. Mm, get that greenery rolling. And then we're just going to uh, give it a stir -ski. Now, don't forget, we got the newly revamped recipe section at Rectech.com. Make sure you check out all of those new amazing recipes. We will be adding more recipes uh, as they become available. Shoot you. Um, make sure you check out Rectech.com because right now, if you purchase the RTB380 or the RT340, you get $50 off either Great the ice or cooler or the matador. About. That's an amazing mm -hmm. deal, ladies and Great gentlemen. Great value. That is an amazing deal. All right, so all we're going to do is just start dumping stuff in. Like, oh, this is yes. super simple. This is we a, have some, what would you call it, a pool? Yeah, everybody in the pool. Everybody in the everybody pool. We got some pool. carrots. Some tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Tomatoes. Some more tomatoes. My homeland. Jody, they want to know what grill we're cooking on and what pellets we're using today. Parsley. So today, we've got the RT700 rolling right along. And we are using the Kingsford Olive. Signature Pellets. Mixture of cherry, hickory, and maple. Mwah. Mwah. So it's a little bit sweeter than the classic blend. I like it. But Delicious. I, I like the Signature. Signature's uh Shout signature's out to our good point. friends over at Kingsford. That's right. That's now, right. you could add, I mean, anything in here. If you want to oh, put some, like, yes. if you've got some cold cuts laying around, like Ooh. some turkey or okay. ham what? or salami or pepperoni. What, what about you could cheese? You add some cheese, oh, some yeah. feta, oh, some mozzarella, yeah. some provolone. Yeah. Look at that. It looks beautiful, Greg. I mean, this will make a great picture. Now, I like this pasta because you can get some of that juice up in the noodle. Absolutely. And then we put the juice in there, but I think we're going to have to add mm. some of the peppers. Mm. Guys, smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Two new things that people hate. Uh, <laughs> and the smash it thing. It's, it's that thing. Do they hate the smash it thing? Guys, put in the comment section. Do y'all hate the smash it thing? The 3, they 2, do, 1 smash it. They hate the. Hey, haters yeah, are going to hate. Are, they are very vocal <laughs> about hating both of those things. They are. So, in fact. But we appreciate you guys for tuning in and hanging yeah, out right. with us and actually watching and having an opinion. We appreciate that. Every for sure. time we come, they comment down below. We get to split a penny. That's right. That's true. Okay, so by the That's end of the right. show, we at least get thirty cents. And then you guys got to smash that share button. And it's even less, but that's why we need you to share it so much. For Look sure. Look how tasty that is. Super simple. It simple. looks delicious, I mean, Chef Greg. Now, just park. know whenever you add vinegar to your noodles or like a bean salad, they're going to firm up a little bit. What? Oh. I didn't know that. Okay. And they might Science. they might absorb a little bit more liquid, so make more dressing so that if you pre-make this a couple hours ahead of time, okay. you can add more if you need. That's a so good you, tip. you would definitely and always put this taste in the refrigerator? It. Oh, yeah. That is a good mm -hmm. tip. Mm -hmm. Legit. Legit. Amazing. That does not oh. suck. It's, good. it's making me hungry just watching y'all eat. Come on. But again, those noodles were super Noodle salty. Me. Yes. Those noodles were super salty <laughs> even before Chef Greg put mm. that thing together. Mm, that, right? is delicious. <laughs> that is delicious. And the towel. And the to towel. an amazing pasta dish, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Super salty water that you boil your noodles in. Good acidity in that dressing. Right. Mm. Uh. Very And then crisp. again, all the herbs. From that um, that ranch <laughs> that ranch seasoning as well as the cold yeah. freaking Greek freaking Greeks where it's at, man. Oh, that dill! That's I can talking. see the dill from here. What's the dill, pickle, John? You What's got a good question out there? Well, they want to know what the difference in the crab leg sizes are, Jody. They say they see you got some different size legs on there. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got two different species. Oh, oh look at you get all crab, scientific. Okay, right here, this this prickly feller, this little prick guy right here, um, he is a an Alaskan. King crab. Now he did. Uh, he was on the show a couple weeks ago of the deadliest catch on Discovery. Yep. Yeah. So appreciate uh, Sig Hansen. Yep. Everybody yeah, sending us some uh, like that some guy. crab over. And then this is 
Alaskan snow crab. Yeah. Okay, or so the Apelio crabs. Oh, Apelio. Now, when they, when the fishermen yep. catch this stuff, it is immediately cooked. Well, it's, it's and immediately frozen. It's offloaded, cooked, and frozen. Right. You'll never find unless you Correct. go to like some crazy end high end restaurant where literally never the restaurant has a private jet right. flying it That's over. It. It's all going to be pre-cooked. That's right. right. And there's nothing that. wrong with that. Okay. Sorry. Nothing wrong with it. It's going to taste freshness. absolutely am Thank you, Chef Greg. It is going to be absolutely amazing. It is. They are plucked from the world at the peak of freshness of a crab, ladies <laughs> yeah. and gentlemen. Um, now, Greg, can you tell the difference between whether or not these were farm-raised or raised in the wild? I sure can't. Can you? No, sir. <laughs> is that even a thing? I don't can know. You, That's what I was asking. Can you farm a crab? Maybe well, like yes. a hermit crab. Yeah, man, I could. I, I could find, hey. hey, you know what, Sherpa? Hey, I'll farm a crab. <laughs> Sherpa used to be a farmer of crabs. He used to sell them on the black market. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah he did. He'd be Jersey walking around crab. Broad Street passing out crabs to people. Yeah, yeah he no. did late at night, uh, yeah. 1 to 2 o'clock at night with the bars closed. You can find him at the firehouse. He passes That's out so crabs always. Now, Chef uh, Greg, the legs on these things are, are different sizes. Does that mean the bodies on these uh, different species are different sizes Oh, yeah, as well? for sure. Now, oh. that king crab, this one right here, that guy is probably like that that big, easy what? for sure. Right. So yep. this, yeah, very good point. So uh, the 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 dome so of the like the Apelio crab is probably bigger than a softball. Okay. Right? And you're probably looking like that big on a king crab. Ooh. Now, where would you suggest if you want to pick some of this stuff up? Where would you where would we find our stuff at? We went to the local big box store. Uh, you can find king crab. Uh, check out your local uh, grocery stores as well. If you don't see it. Ask your fishmonger or butcher Absolutely. behind the counter. They can get it for you. Yeah. Uh, typically, the cases of uh, snow crab are sold in 5, 10, and 20-pound cases. Um, and then the, the king crab, again, will probably be in that, that 10 to 20 to 30-pound case. And it can get a little bit pricey, right. so make sure you bring your pocketbook. Right. So, Greg, we're so this is already cooked. For sure. So we're essentially... We're just reheating. In a nutshell. A shell of a nut. <laughs> we are just reheating this, right? Absolutely. We're okay. just going to uh, impart so some how flavor in there. can we... Besides smoking it, mm -hmm. besides letting that delicious Kingsford signature pellet Just get on in there, get on in there. Yep. How can we add some flavor to this? So you're gonna eat this with your hands. So okay. I love. I'm picking love, up your love, love, love to kind of brush <laughs> the legs with a little dirty butter. Oh, Ooh, yes. dirty butter, you yes. say? Dirty butter. Yes. So is that like butter that's fallen on the ground, Chef Greg? And you picked up? It's got some yes. sand in it. No. So oh, it's some butter that's been burnt. It's not brown butter. But it's dirty butter. I love brown butter too, man. You right? can't hate on the brown butter. Okay, not all butter needs to be white and creamy. Okay, That's you true. brown it up, you get some flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Not just in butter in life too. You can butter your bread with brown butter. Oh, it's man. okay. It comes from brown cows. I like to butter my biscuits. You make brown butter from chocolate milk? Ooh, yep. Yeah. What? No. All right. So grab a cast iron skillet, a couple cloves of garlic, give them a smash. Melt your butter in there on your rectech. Get it all smoky. Right. Add some of that dirty girl bloody mary rub, that horseradish powder, that Worcestershire powder, all that amazing stuff. Get on in there, sharp, and take a look. So like Chef Greg instructs, we are going to engage right mode on this mama jamma here. We're going to dump about two tablespoons of Dirty Girl Bloody Mary Rub available at Rectech.com into this already delicious mm. butter that Chef Greg has has just flavored with. You can see the garlic chunks just floating Shoot around yeah, in this bad I wish boy. you guys could smell the smells the coming good. off of that. Right. Smell, now this was delicious. not um, separated. This is not a clear or drawn butter, um, uh, but now, now is the time to shine. Oh, Good I got it right there behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be super, super nasty. So I'm going to take a little bit here, and we're going to dump it in our icer mm -hmm. tumbler. And that's going to be my vessel to keep this butter nice and warm that's for what me. That's I'm talking about. While oh, I'm basting man. it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, while I'm basting. That is a great tip, Jody. Yes. So we've got a little mop here. Oh. So how we're going to add flavor besides smoking it. Yes, that meat is inside a shell, but yes, that smoke is able to penetrate it. And these king crab legs, you can see where we've actually cut to where it can actually absorb more of that smoke. We're going to slide these over a little bit. So we're going to take some of that right there. Yes. yes. Dripping it all over Sherpa. Dirty and you can baste this a couple times during That's the cook. right, Chef Greg. We're going to... We're going to layer these flavors, ladies and gentlemen. Now, after I base it the first time, we are going to hit it with a little bit of that Dirty Girl mm. Bloody Mary seasoning as well, because this butter is actually creating a little bit of tackiness Ooh, we like it. on the outside of these legs. That's what I'm Give talking about. Give me a about. couple of these, Charlie, if you can. Those Stack are the kind of legs high. that I like right there. Buttered up and red and hot. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. Look at that, guys. So I am, look, I've already dumped all that butter in there. So I'm just going to come over here. 
we're going to continue to just base that butter on there. Uh, now, it's not flavoring that meat. It smells so but good. But it is building up flavor on the outside of those claws. So when we crack them, all of that flavor and all of that seasoning is going to stick to our hands. Mm -hmm. And then when we eat it with our hands, to lick it off. we will then lick it off. That's the preferred <laughs> method. That's the preferred, preferred method, preferred for, eating, method. for eating crab legs. Get licking it off your hands. There, That's man. right. That's right. God, go ahead. So good. Let's sprinkle a little bit of this from the heavens. Oh, from the man. heavens. And again, we're only looking to reheat this, so it's not going to take very long. At about, you know, 300 degrees, you're looking right about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so we're at 300 degrees. Chef Greg, on the yes, inside. Sir. And okay. you could go you could go lower as well. You could go 225. It'll take a little bit longer. Now, we did thaw these crab legs out. Um, you can put them in there frozen. That's completely fine. Just oh. don't be surprised if it takes a little bit longer to uh, to heat those Smash up. Smash that share button, guys. Three, two, one. Smash, Smash it. it. I always screw that up. Counting down from three, two, one. Yeah, because I go three, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. When I count down, I'm like three, two, one. Yeah. I bet you if you wouldn't have pointed that out, they wouldn't have picked up on the it. Yeah. Uh, they all know the uh, hatred, and criticism has been in the comment section down yep. below for days. <laughs> so when for we're talking days. about snow crab, there's a couple different varieties okay. that you can get. Uh, few and far between will you see the Alaskan snow crab on the east coast. Typically, that's more found on the, on the west coast and in a lot of your higher end uh, uh, grocery stores okay. and things like that. A lot of what you're going to find is actually Canadian snow crab. What? Okay. <laughs> that's malarkey, Greg. I don't want any Canadian snow crab on my plate. But then you're also going to find Greenland snow Ooh. crab. Now, here's something to keep in mind, okay? Man. If you're looking for that's the most. Respectful. If you're looking for the most crab to shell ratio, it's Alaskan all day long. Right. Okay. Now, a step down from that, right, is going to be the Canadian. Oh, yeah. You're going to okay. see just a little bit less plump, a less full meat in the shell versus your Alaskan. Okay. Now, the crab buffet places, they're going to use that Greenland stuff because it's dirt cheap and very low meat to shell ratio there. Love and why dirt. is that, Chef Greg? It's just, I don't know. It's just is a it thing. water King temperature Neptune you think has to be? It's, it's, King just, Neptune it's himself. just a thing. Grew it's just a thing. those crab imper imperfectly. I so basically what we're saying is King Neptune prefers the cold waters of Alaska. Of Alaska. Of the Bering Sea. That's right. Yes. He does okay. not like the Poseidon's Kiss Canadian crab. No. Now, we are also Thank not no. cooking any Neptune's crab. That KRAB, we're not cooking any of that today. No KRAB today. No, no KRAB. Okay. Now, we are not going to put this crab in a bag and season it, twist the bag, and then shake it all up. Because that's, that's, that like well, that's, that's how they do it. That sounds like a great idea. That's how they do it. That's, that's how, how they, they do it. it. But that's we're not going to do, do that here because we're basting it right now on the Rec Tech Grill okay. while it absorbs okay. some of that delicious smoke. Mm -hmm. I dig it. I dig it. John, there's a lot of questions out there. I can see all of those folks rolling up. Give us a good question from <laughs> some of the folks out there in comment land. They are loving it. You've got 535 people oh, tuned wow. in. 535. They are having over a, a thousand. great yeah. time right now, Jody. Woo, woo, woo. They want to know you guys' favorite <laughs> seafood. We've done seafood all week long, so right, what, right, right, do you, right. what do you guys go to? So... Sorry to jump jump ahead, Greg. It's okay, you jump. guys know me. I like shrimp yeah, all day, every day. All day, every day. Fried, yeah. steamed, yeah, boiled, macerated, <laughs> raw. You are poached. the Bubba Gump. Poached. Yeah. I don't care what Stewed. it is. <laughs> shrimp grits. Oh man. Shrimp gumbo. I'll eat it. I'll eat it undeveined. Yeah, you eat the shrimp. <laughs> undeterred. I love a shrimp. You eat that dirty shrimp. That's that D I R T Y. Oh. Not oh, ladies, I will eat a dirty shrimp. Sorry, Greg. Go ahead. That's disgusting. <laughs> I've even seen you be so hungry, you've eaten the sh shrimp. Shell. 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 He doesn't care. If they're small enough, yeah, fried down the right way. Fried care. if they're yeah. small enough, I ain't peeling the tail off he's that like thing. A, he's like a crab. He just rips it down. <laughs> mm. He really um, does. I love lobster. I mm. love broiled lobster, lobster okay. thermidor. Okay. Get all that, that filling wow. in there. Yeah, Got Chef some good Greg. stuff. Um, but our go-to at the house is probably salmon. 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 Okay. okay. And I would have to say, you, if y'all know me, y'all know. The ladies knock salmon out of the park this week. Y'all know I love that octopus. I oh, cannot man. get enough of it. You can't get enough of that. I puss. cannot get enough of no. it. But enough of that. Um, we want to make sure this shirt stays on the internet. Do these crab legs need to go at 300 degrees? Um, I think you base the ones you basted just a second ago, rebased them, we take them off, and then we're yes. ready to go. Yes. So you're looking right about, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. You just want to warm it up. Hit these over here. Yes, sir. Chef Greg Muller available at, at Chef Greg Muller. Uh, Chef Greg at Rectech.com. <laughs> <laughs>
No, you guys, make sure if you have here. any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section down below. We love, we love interacting with our Rec Tech family members. Now, Jody, if they have questions about new product releases, where we're going to be yes. at upcoming events, yes. dates, where do they need to go? What do they need they to do? They need to go to RecTech.com right now and sign up for the newsletter. I'm telling you, it has all of the pertinent information that they need. Uh, it has all the information that they want. And make sure when you're done with this, clean your drip pan. For oh, sure. Yes, very good point, Chef Greg. Now, speaking of drip pans, we also have a new recipe section on the website, right? Absolutely. At Rectech.com, if you check out the recipe section, you will see a God, newly so good, revamped section with new recipes, new pictures, new instruction. Um, and thanks to all of the staff that made that possible. That's I right. know it was a huge, huge undertaking. Team effort. And we really do appreciate them uh, for knocking it out of the park like they always do. But man, look at this. These dirty lobster. Lobster. Crab crab legs. Legs. That's what I'm talking Chef John, about. Chef I got some gloves here before because I know it's hard to push the ones and twos with It is. Oh, with a little man. sloppiness. Now, Jody, we have, like uh, we have, a, we have a, a big weekend this weekend though, right? That's, that's right. We've got Rec Tech Academy. It is going on right now. All of those folks so very well are right group. behind you. They yeah. are very silent. Yeah, and they, they really don't want to share any of their secrets. No. It's a good group. It good is. group Great of folks. Group. Man, I, I am so glad that they came Y'all are going town. down this time because my group is killing <laughs> them. No, no, no. Killing no, 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 no. My, Did you see how good they trimmed that brisket today? My group um, named um, the Battery Savers is going to knock it out <sighs> of the park. I'm telling you. Smoke apocalypse is taking it down. Smoke hey, the short short timers short are short term memory loss. They, I like they it. are special group. Now we you may not win. Special. We may not win, but we're gonna have the most fun. I'll yeah, tell you that, that right John, now. That is your excuse we're gonna give you a little week. instruction how this works. Okay? <laughs> Take your leg and break it off. Now, Ow! There's, there's lots of meat right there, don't worry. Ow! I start from the little end to the big end. Oh yeah. So right here, I break off and pull out. Ooh, oh see how clean that is? Yes. Whoa. Go to the next Whoa, joint. Yes. Uh, Whoa. Break it. Next and juke see, joint. It comes with the, the love right there. Oh, so you kind of dip it in there. I like that dip love that dip. Love. Now there's meat in here. Oh. Oh. See? So One tender. piece. And if you don't overcook it, it comes right out. If you oh. overcook it, oh. stick. it sticks to the shell. Oh, sticky eggy. That is what I'm talking about. The best about. part about eating this live on camera is nobody, nobody else, else can get it. So look at that right there. Oh, Jody, crack oh, me out a piece, Jody. Look at that right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, here you go. You are your brother's keeper. All right, so same same thing on these. On the king crab, they've already split them for us, oh, which is super nice, guys. Sticky. So depending on how that happened, it might be a little more difficult. God, you got so much butter in here. I love oh, it. God. You can just literally lift the shell away. Yes, and the Lord. So that king crab comes off in one piece just like that. Guys, let's go ahead and smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it! It is Seafood Week, the culmination of Climax. Seafood Week. Climax! Fun day Friday. Mm. We're taking it to the limit tonight. Last week we did barbecue. It was an amazing, amazing week. Thank you guys so much for suggesting us cook some different things. Make sure if you have any cool things you want us to cook, put it in the comment section down below. We'll do or it. Send us a DM. We would love to make your dreams come true and cook something that you want us to cook. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. John, yes. we're getting good questions. Uh, they said that that looks absolutely delicious. Well, they look delicious, and we really look do appreciate that. each and every one of them for tuning in. Oh, my God. That Greg. is a girthy piece of crab. Cheese and crackers. Guys, make sure you check out the recipe section at rectech.com. Brand new, revamped recipe section. Looking crisp. Um, Greg, did you, ch did you hear about the crab that could paint? I did not. Yeah, his name was Leonardo da Pinci, and he is a real artiste. Really? <laughs> hey! hey yo! Yeah, hey that was yo. your Bad Jones Week, brought to you by Shiner Bach Beer. Get out there and get yourself a Shiner. There's nothing finer than a Shiner. You guys are doing a Except fabulous crab job meat. cracking. So when I used to uh, God bless George. be a kid, we'd go to Red Lobster. Oh, yeah. And uh, at that point, you get like a half a pound of crab with an entree for like six bucks. Yeah. So I'd get like four of those. And just go to town. You, you know what? Sleep on this part, everybody. Don't true, on good, this good. Part. true story. I've here? never been to a Red Lobster. Oh, shut your You're face. Lying. Never been. You well, need to take a nice lady to a Red Lobster. Is that what I need to do? That's what you need hey, to do. Any, if there are any ladies out there watching right now, put it in the comment section if you would like to go to Red Lobster with Chef John. Dude, Specifically, the, the girl, Shannon Waller. The girl. Oh, hypothetically. <laughs> oh, hypothetically speaking. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. All of those new rec tech owners, if you need anything, just reach out to us. We are here for you. 
Um, I am Barbecue Dad Jody on all social media. Uh, please follow me. He is Chef Greg Muller. He is Chef John Pinnell. And from everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. Woo! God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We'll, we'll see, see you at the Crab Fest. At the Crab Fest. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Crab Fest.